Hi, and welcome to Reed's Audio Reading. I'm Reed, and I hope you enjoy my channel. Today I'll be introducing you to a forgotten god from the halfling pantheon, Brandobaris. You can find this information in Dragon Magazine 59. Brandobaris, Master of Stealth, Demigod. The adventures and misadventures of Brandobaris, Master of Stealth, are almost beyond counting. Most of these tales share a moral. It is better not to run off into the wilderness on foolish dares. Nonetheless, Brandobaris is an appealing sort of rascal. He has much of the trickster in him. He is primarily a clever thief who fools his opponents into thinking him harmless, then steals them blind and escapes their wrath. No matter how awful a situation he finds himself in, and he's found some pretty awful ones, Brandobaris always manages to find his way out again, and make a profit. Brandobaris is so skilled at moving silently, he cannot be heard by any mortal being or god if he conceals his movements. He can hide so well as to become completely invisible, seeable only with a true seeing spell or magical item of similar power. Brandobaris goes on adventures to find some item he believes will make life more comfortable for him, though this does not always prove to work out as he planned. Brandobaris carries a plus three long dagger he usually wields in combat, if he cannot avoid it. This dagger will magically point out the fastest and safest direction of escape from any trap or maze, making Brandobaris immune to maze spells when holding it. He also uses a plus four sling that hurls a ball of dust whenever it is used. The dust ball has a maximum range of 48 feet, 24 feet short range, 36 feet medium range, and does not harm its victim who feels nothing, but must save versus magic at minus 6 or fall deeply asleep for 6 to 36 turns. The followers of Brandobaris are mostly thieves and fighters slash thieves. The more ardent followers are usually also the ones who take the greatest risks. An especially daring risk, one placing the halfling in considerable jeopardy that pays off is looked upon favorably by Brandobaris. He might reward the perpetrator of such a daring act, but only once in that halfling's lifetime, so as not to encourage the mortal to be too foolhardy. There is a 5% chance that Brandobaris's reward will be given to any halfling of 10th level or lower raising the follower one level in ability. Halfling thieves of 11th level or higher cannot receive this particular reward, but might benefit in some other fashion from incurring the good favor of Brandobaris. Because Brandobaris wanders the prime material plane, there is a 1% chance per level a halfling thief of 11th level or higher will actually meet Brandobaris in the guise of another halfling thief and be invited by the demigod to go on a thieving adventure. Other thieves may come along on the adventure, but if they do not worship Brandobaris, they might find some of their valuables missing when the adventure is over. Brandobaris reveals his identity only after the adventure is over, and only to his followers. Thank you for listening to this video of the Forgotten Gods, Brandobaris, demigod and master of stealth. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Best regards, read.